you feel this kind of moral debt to the material itself and you're always balancing it with your debt to the reader. To be traumatized is to be locked in a moment without escape, stuck in a looping circuit of memories. In the weeks and months after the attack, those who'd found themselves in Westgate would insist the attackers were still on the loose. A teenage girl, the niece of a neighbor, who'd spoken in detail on tape about the shooting, later begged us not to use the tape for a story. She was terrified that the shooters, who were by this time dead, would recognize her voice and hunt her down. Has writing always been really important to you? Is it how you process things? I mean, for me, like, I feel like being a, a writer is so much about like, almost like being a medium for all these voices because my work isn't um, voicey in the traditional sense and that I kind of like that classic omniscient narrator, but there's a lot of voices in the work and um, you're always just, um, you're, you're like an intermediary for all these voices that you've heard. This is my little paperweight, it sits in my desk, it's um, Cavalera and my friend Katya um, brought it from Mexico for me and I call it, his name is Hamlet. <laughs> but it's, it just makes me think about how, um, you know, writing is sort of a path to the other side, to this reality that's so, sort of metaphysical and um, you're, you know, you're a channeler, you're a medium for it. So I, just, I like the image of the, the day of the dead and kind of communing with um, spirits and energies and the others. I think it's the, I think I've always wanted to be a medium, but I'm not. <laughs> so it's the closest I'm going to get. You've written a short story collection. You've just finished a novel. Yeah. Very different forms because of the Patriots. Totally. Is a, it's a big book. Mm -hmm. What's the, um, do you find yourself drawn to one or the other as a form? I mean, as a reader, I love short stories. Um, I think as a writer, I actually prefer the novel. Mm. Um, you know, I think like when we have this model in the 20th century of this narrow, kind of um, modernism where y you're at an emotional arm's length from the reader and you're supposed to see around the narrator and everything's kind of written in this um, almost monotone. And I just, I really wanted to access all of the wonderful tools of omniscience when I was writing the novel, right? And like go back to that, um, like the, these meaty books of the 19th century, which, which weirdly enough was a style that I felt was like was coming back in postmodernism because there was just suddenly so much more of omniscient um, voices in um, books that were contemporary. And I think it had something to do with us um, having lived in the internet age for a while now and like mm. being comfortable with this um, omnivorous uh, intelligence <laughs> kind of around us. And, yeah. and information being accessible. I mean, I don't like to, I don't like books that fetishize information. I'll say that it's not like my goal to show how much I know to the reader. But um, I, I think it's like there's a real pleasure in um, in having b being able to move around different co kinds of consciousness uh, when you're writing a novel, and that was something that was really fun mm. to do. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, thank you so much thank for you. coming.